I used a 7 Bryant Sealster on the bottom of my ticket just because uh, he can be a closer, and he's uh, hit the ticket in 17 out of 26 this year. And I love me some John Kennedy as well, 300 training average, Travis Henry. And 30 to 1 would help it. King Jewels, Woodmere Gaelic on the inside. In the center, just to call me Pete. Serial killer, last call Jerome. To the outside, Sharky and Bryant Sealster. It's a field of seven, and it is race number seven on a wonderful Wednesday. Woodmere Gaelic, not so wonderful for Woodmere Gaelic, off stride. They're at the start in the rough, and Serial Killer will gun out with King Jewels. Just call me Peep. Sharky to the outside to King Jewels with that snap speed on the inside. Grab the early lead. Serial Killer is pressing on, and then Sharky to the outside, and Just Call Me Pete is racing fourth. Then it's a gap of two or three. Last call, Jerome and Bryant Sealster, but right now Serial Killer and Austin Sorry is going to take the lead, and King Jewels is racing the pocket. Just Call Me Pete is forwardly placed third. Then it is Sharky, and then last call, Jerome and Bryant Sealster as they work on around the turn at Woodmere Gaelic but that early break is out of it, and King Jewels has come back around and is reclaiming the lead. King Jewels, 8-5 to five of the board, has the front. Serial Killer now is gracious, graciously racing from the pocket. Just call me Pete. He is positioned third and is going to come first over and come with authority first over up against King Jewels. King Jewels on the inside. Just call me P. Halftime. 57 and 1 at 30 second second panel. King Jewels is getting tested now. Just call me Pete on the outside. Serial Killer is racing third and Sharky is situated second over fourth. Brian Sealster fifth and last call Jerome. King Jewels trying to fend off Just Call Me Pete, but Just Call Me Pete sticks a nose in front. King Jewels tries to rally to the inside. And Sharky is racing third. Then Serial Killer. And then it is back to last call. Jerome Bryant Sealster. King Jewels has fought back on the inside. Just Call Me Pete hasn't gone away. Sharky is swimming three wide now. And Sharky is coming. And now on the inside, King Jewels for now has turned back. Just Call Me Pete. But we'll have to deal with Sharky and maybe Serial Killer as well. They turn for home. King Jewels trying to fend off Sharky. And Serial Killer is looking to pounce up the passing lane. King Jewels. Serial Killer up the inside. Inside and on the outside, Sharky. Sharky with King Jewels. Sharky gets by. Then King Jewels is in a place photo with Serial Killer. And Brian Sealster, 157 flat. The inquiry sign pertaining to number two, Whitmer Gaelic, and the start. But the seventh race, well, it goes to number six, Sharky, 7 to 5. I'll land the two hole. He lands third. I go, okay, well. I'd probably like to see him sit having him having him played, you know, in the, the first couple of positions anyways. When he pulled first up, you get excited for half a second when he puts his nose in front, but you can see when he got rebuffed, uh, you know, his, his night was over. But you're right, did take the starch out of King Jewels, and, and that certainly helped Sharky get there as well. And it was a good drive by Jay Harris getting that uh, position and then popping what he did, and he had uh, the power in the stretch. So Jay Harris getting the job done with a handy steer, a second of her trip, and number six, Sharky, three-year-old. He's watching Brown Gelding on Biomax Stable Train by Shane Barrington. Jay Harris, the green arrow with the win. It's the third win this year, fourth lifetime. Sharky, 157 flat. And note the seventh race is the Grand River Agricultural Society Board of Directors Memorial Race. And it does go to number six, Sharky. The seventh race payout, six Sharky, four ninety two seventy two ten, one King Jewels, three ten and two ten, and four Serial Killer, two forty. 
Two dollar exactor twelve sixty. Dollar try fifteen twenty. Dollar super seventy nine fifty.